Think of it. I've abused steroids for years. I could go in the same competition that Matt or Mike are going to do and pass the drug test. Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Here we go. This is a very, very interesting video. Uh, this is how to build muscle on vegan. And this is going to have some truth bombs. This is... Voila. This is... Uh, vegan, just like smoke something that's like this is, this is pure protein, pretty much. There's eight, uh, 40 grams of protein per pack, super low fat. How much fat we got in there? So, it's only three grams of fat per hundred. That's a blood blister, by the way. Um, so yeah, three grams of fat per hundred. So, it's very, very lean. We get a mama, this is some white rice in here now. Normally, back in my cycling and running days, where I'm trying to be as light as possible, I'll just eat the rice. The rice with sugar, but now this is like you know. So this is this is sort of mostly protein in here. A bit of carbohydrate, obviously for brain function. But uh, so 80 grams of protein, 80 grams of protein. So on about 100, 150 grams of protein. It's pretty hard to eat a lot of protein. I find, um, you know, it's uh, so that's why I'm cutting my carbs back. Still getting enough carbs, but just otherwise it's hard to stomach all. You know, so by cutting the carbs back, so. You, you know, you got equal calories, 100 grams of protein is 400 calories, 100 grams of carbohydrates, 400 calories. So I'm eating the same calories, you know, just going by feel and eating as much as I care for. But because I'm eating more protein, the weight on the scales, where's the scales? Here they are. Scales here. I've the scales since 2004. Last few years have been in storage, but I broke them out because I'm doing this weight gain experiment. I'll be documenting it. So in end of March, I sort of stopped before this was of 70, 70 uh, 69 kilos and then boom measure hemoglobin etc test estrogen etc so also running uh, low dosages here and we can see the weight is going up well low dosage I mean anabolics all right so we see that you know I'm eating the same calories per day but I'm eating, increasing my protein intake and obviously running farmer grade product and it's just a really enhanced protein synthesis so the weight is going up so this is the start of September. I'm on 77.1 kilos. Lean abs, veins, jaws, cheekbones, etc. etc. But my waist is going up. Muscle, lean muscle mass. And we're sitting, sipping at 30 D-ball. So 79.3 kilos lean mass this morning. This is always morning weight after having a, a big uh, vegan dump, which is, you know, half your body length. Uh, so yeah, this is after. So it's very consistent. Morning weigh-ins. Obviously, I'll probably over 80 kilos now with food and water in me, but this is morning weight. So it's just great comparison. So you see the weight, you know, it's sort of, it's like that over time, going up and down, up and down, higher. So as long as dosages. If I stop using steroids and I cut my protein right back down to 20, 30 grams like I normally eat, then my weight would plummet from 79 quickly back down to low 60s. And my cycling performance would go, would go up because I wouldn't have to carry all extra muscle around. But uh, this is just an experiment, just to show people that it's not about um, calories in, calories out. It's about your macros, where they come from, and what sort of hormones you have thrown through your bloodstream. Now, a lot of people lie about their steroid usage, and so it confuses people. Oh, but you know, you can build muscle naturally without steroids. You can, but it's not going to be this. <laughs> Look how rapid this is. <laughs> Look how rapid this is. This is, you know, just a few months ago, I was 70, or before that, like a week beforehand, I was like 69 kilos. So I've got 10 kilos of muscle, 10 kilos of lean mass in for half a year. That's that's like, that's insane. You know, I'm hardly even training weights. I'm just doing a bit here and there. You know, 10 kilos, pretty much. What I put on my stuff, this stuff's great. It's all fat-free. The reason I'm eating low fat is I could, I could put more weight on if I ate more fat because that would drive up fat storage or drive up insulin. But I don't want to get like too fat. You know, I still want to have a bit of leanness to myself. Um, so I'm eating, still eating relatively low fat. Probably eating about 30 to 50 grams of fat a day. When normally I'd be running like 10 grams of fat. Like super, super lean um, for running and cycling. Because I'm a very lazy person. I don't like to train more than I have to. And I want to get maximum results from my effort. So these are really great little condiments here. Fat free, vegan, tasty, you know. And it's just great because this is quite bland. And uh, I'd like to enjoy my food. And, you know, this is fat-free options here. Very, very tasty. So is my diet 
diet uh, good for muscle growth? No. My diet is more for cycling and running and being a model, a ballerina, a dancer, a stripper. A lot of strippers do my diet. Um, it's, it's a weight loss. It's getting lean. It's you know, stripping fat off your body protocol, my lifestyle. If you want to gain weight, then you need to add in more fat and more protein. And for some people, you know, that, that route's there as well. Not recommending, I'm just saying this is purely for, in the sake of journalism. In the sake of journalism, there's a do documentary out there called Icarus. So I'm doing like a, a vague version of Icarus in terms of just showing people what goes on. So there you go. How to build muscle. How much muscle can you build naturally? You know, it's, uh, it's a long time. It would take me probably to build 10 kilos of muscle naturally. Um, you know, I'd have to totally quit cycling and running. Um, this, this is the great thing about this, these things, is I get to still enjoy my cycling and running without you know, being too catabolic and I still get to live a pretty normal lifestyle. If I wanted to you know, put on 10 kilos in six months, it's not going to happen, Natty. It might take me you know, a year and a half if I quit cycling and running, but I love cycling and running. You know? I love it. I just love doing my body. It just feels good to ride to the shops. To Yesterday I went for a walk. It just feels good to, to get some fresh air and outdoor activity in there. So hopefully that answers the question, people. The more fat and the more protein you eat, grams per day, higher on the scales, the less fat and protein you eat and the more carbohydrate you eat, the lower the number on the scales. Is there still vomit on the scales? Oh, actually, there might be some cat vomit on there. So oh, there is a bit of bile on there. There's some bile? Jeez. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there you go. So well, where will I be in another six months' time? Hopefully it will be 89 Only. kilos. It's done uh, with the doctor. I don't. If you're going to use anything like that, please you know, get a prescription. You know, when you're using underground stuff, you don't know what you're getting, you know. It's, it, it's illegal, but most more importantly, is like you don't want to put it in your body, you know. So if you're going to inject anything, um, please stick with Farmer Grade. Thank you very much. If pasta is so bad for your health, then why are Italians so thin? Well, this is because of the specific diet that is used in Italy. You see, anytime we're eating pasta here in Italy, we don't eat pasta with tons of fats. 